To start your kente cloth, you're going to need to put your name on the back of your paper. This is important because it might be a little bit hard to identify next class. Once you're done with that, you're going to use the black paint to fill your paper with designs. I can't tell you how important it is this time to really, really fill your paper. You can pick any patterns you want. They can repeat, they can be different each row, you could do it differently. But either way, you really, really need to fill your entire paper. We're going to be cutting into this and weeding on top of it. Therefore, not all of it's going to show. So you want tiny little designs. Think small little line patterns. You should have almost as much black on your paper as you do whatever color paper you picked. So I almost have equal amounts of black and blue on my paper. That's how many designs I added. So here you can see I started with this kind of lines with some X's in between. And I think I'm going to pick a pattern. Maybe put some dots on that. Maybe add one or two more line designs and start repeating as I go down the paper. Once it's dry, you can put it on the drying rack out in the hallway, and then you're gonna start on your strips for weaving.